Hi, my name is Jasmine Cargill. I'm in my fourth year of the pharmacy program at UBC, and I completed a Bachelor of Science with a major in biology and a minor in English at UBCO. I decided to pursue a career in pharmacy for several reasons, where my situation at the time simply pointed me in the right direction. I was in my fourth year uh, of undergrad in a plant biochemistry class with an amazing professor, and I was also working my first pharmacy job as an assistant at an exciting pharmacy. I loved learning about how some drugs were derived from plants and I simultaneously loved working at the pharmacy, really just admiring how the pharmacist interacted with and helped the patients. I also knew there were several opportunities to work in different areas in pharmacy and that really appealed to me and that's what led me here in short. Currently, I'm on my 471 outpatient rotation in the Okanagan. One of my favorite modules was probably the RHSHGU or the reproductive health module uh, because I just feel like I learned so much information and I was very passionate about it. I think the most challenging thing for me in pharmacy was the amount of information that you have to know. So since I'm currently in my fourth year, I have rotations and online classes. There's two online classes, so 441, which runs throughout the entire term in duration, and 481, which is just a month in duration. In terms of rotations, I had um, from August to December, I had a few months on and a few months off. So uh, one month I was doing a non-direct patient care uh, rotation at PGH, and the other month I was doing one at the College of Pharmacists of BC. I had December off, as does everyone else, and I am currently on my 471 rotation at an outpatient pharmacy uh, until the end of February. And in March and April, I'll be doing my inpatient rotation in Vernon. So right now, my days consist of practicum, which includes counseling, medication reviews, prescription checking, as well as studying for the PBC and working out. So um, in the next few years, or at least in the next year, I'll be spending June 2023 to 2024 doing a PGY1 hospital residency with Interior Health Authority and working with them as a grade two clinical pharmacist after that. I'd like to still practice in community in some way, so I look forward to figuring out how to incorporate that and a variety of ways of practice to practice in my career. I think it's an, a very exciting time to be graduating with this updated expanded scope in BC. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how the CPBC, the Ministry of Health, BCPHA work together to navigate these changes. Uh, one thing that I would like the general public to know, and it sounds cliche, but one, we don't just count pills. And two, we also don't decide what medications are covered by your insurance as community pharmacists.